Oh my god, dude. Watch none of those saved again. I did, did even try to back out to help help them save, but we'll see. Well, at least you guys know why people aren't actually up to date in here, because I probably did it before and it just didn't freaking save. Yeah, they're just not saving, dude. Yeah, um, I just can't do it right now. God, I'm so annoyed right now. I have to put Nightmare on there. He's supposed to be in a fucking rivalry. Shut up, Stream Elements. Hi, Fox. <sighs> yeah, uh, so that that option for Jared Crow is supposed to be for for Bimu Chan. I was going to edit it, but um, the stream crash kind of threw me off. Keep changing how the layout is on here. Where the hell is for? The option to change my uh Um did someone say crow? Oh, yeah, I did say crow. That was for you you had the last open challenge thing, which it's now um Cherry doing her open challenge thing. God, I'm so annoyed. Why is Ghost Edwards Lindsay, Lindsay's manager? Okay, well, oops. Actually, some of those names are supposed to change. I mean, it's supposed to be the same in any way, but... God, it fucking... This game just freezing and crashing over and over. We should have like a, a full-on uh, counter just for how many times it's crashed and just killed my stream. Especially since it actually crashed mid uh, mid pay-per-view one time, and it, it actually made us split the stream into two separate days because it was just too much to deal with that day. I'm still pissed about that.
I think that day I probably wasn't too pissed, but as time went on, I was like, I ruined my damn pay per view. This this because they, they just decided to never fix this. Venus, Nine Tails, Feel Bomber. Okay. I actually initially did have Sarah Lynn in this match. Um, I wasn't sure if Sarah was wanting to compete too much yet, so I I did um, pull her out and I put uh, Mason Suzuki in. Okay. Okay. So um that that uh channel point reward should be corrected now. So people should be able to see Cherry's uh Impact Championship open challenge thing. Hey Karuma, how you doing? Okay, next uh, match, Lindsay versus Amaya. <laughs> God, it's so infuriating that I keep crashing, though. Chester into the women's division. Nice. <laughs> um, we're probably going to cancel that challenge match, by the way, Slim. Because um, we're, we're going to be skipping it. If it was already like for 1FC, and then you made it into a challenge match, I we, we'd be watching it. But we're going to... Um, I'm not going to be skipping any challenge matches, and we are skipping that match already. <clears throat> uh, Paul Justice versus Maverick could be the other one.
Change Hachi's entrance? Uh, change it to what? Yeah, so since there's a win-loss record, uh, we're not going to be skipping challenge matches. Because I do think there is some weird shit that can happen when you just skip it. This is for Maverick. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't think we ever switched it, Mannix. Um. Well, it says he's in a rivalry, but we don't have a rivalry match. It probably because it crashed, but I guess you know whatever. Um. Probably just change this one to Cherry versus someone. Oh, you were alive last night, Mannix? I was I was asleep, so I I was out of it. Actually I think I am gonna skip both these matches. They're not rivalry matches, so whatever. I mean uh replace them, I mean, not just skip them. It's not actually Sarah versus Cherry. Um, actually, I don't think he moved to Ignition, Brett. There's probably just another random glitch with this stupid, stupid shit. How many points is it to beat K back with a stick? Seven. No, um, we were trying to uh, come up with a system a long time ago for uh, do, allowing people to do run-ins, spend channel points to do run-ins, but I've, I've never really figured out how much um, of a difference it would make for people to do that. And I also didn't want multiple run-ins to done be, be done multiple shows. I mean, I you know, on each show, I mean, but... Um, but we never actually, uh, and I'll, it would also need to be something like on a card I'm making off stream to allow people to do it. So people don't know the run ins going to be done. But, um, okay, um, I'll change one more match here. Damn, I don't have to, I have to document all this shit, though. I might have to remake Bam versus Ward because I think it did glitch already. Okay. Hey, we're finally going to have our first match, guys. It's only 11 a.m. Uh, no, Brett. I mean, uh, 
I mean, uh, basically the yeah, the finals will be happening on Warzone, so we're we're gonna do that on Warzone. Alrighty, well, the winner will face Dreamcatcher at Survivor Series, you guys. Oh no, Brett, uh, we're never you defend it this this first week though. We got Ashy Mormon. Ignition, Amaya Ignition, Cherry, and Jessica Ignition, Mason Ignition. There's nine nine tails is adrenaline. It's few bomber adrenaline. So it's five 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 to five. Five 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 to five. Yeah, actually if you switch nine tails and, and Ashley Mormon, the um it would be perfectly lined up with five the five ignition women on the left and the five adrenaline women on the right. Place your bets though, guys. Let's see who drew one and two. Keep in mind, the last time we had a 10-person rumble, the person who drew number one, the hyena, Django Friedman, went bell to bell. So any spot can win it. Good luck, everybody. Contest is the Royal Rumble match. Now, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all ten superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice, at WrestleMania! <laughs> Yes, 
She is well aware that she wants to go out and be the rest of the media. She has to go to Texas. All right, Django, have a good day at work, buddy. And thanks for hanging out before work. Well, <laughs> Frankensteiner, it is funny. Slim actually called that these two would be one and two. But in a booking way, the tag champs starting off a rumble is pretty awesome. Oh, well, this just strikes, but... Number three, Nikita Ragehart. Nikita Ragehart from uh, Adrenaline. Freaking Steiner again. Corey, discuss the importance of stamina in a match like this. It is the ultimate test of stamina. And as JBL often says, you can't win a match like this early. Kill switch. A lot of black and white being worn in here so far. <laughs> Nikita Ragehart would be a cool member of the Bloodhunters, just saying. Number four, Ivy Venus. Yeah, I was just thinking about that too, Brett. I don't think it's actually been done, but from a booking standpoint, it'd be pretty awesome. I feel like Road Dog and Billy Gunn should have started a rumble at some point or something. A big boot to the face of Jessica. Ivy's still undefeated right now, right? I mean, it can be pretty hard for her to win this, though. Only a 10% chance. I did the math. Don't worry. Ashley Mormon. A wheelbarrow suplex on Cherry. Isn't that her finisher, though? Ashley Mormon, who actually uh, still is undefeated in one-on-one -on -one action. And Cherry in trouble. Cherry in trouble. Oh, my God. Cherry's been eliminated by Ashley Mormon. Ashley almost went out, too. Cherry will be in the main event tonight defending the Impact Championship, so I guess maybe she does uh, need to rust up. Three belt blast. Going to be um, defending the Impact Championship here tonight, the Hardcore Championship on Adrenaline, and she is due to defend those Women's Tag Championships as well. Nine tails from Adrenaline. The clothesline there. Oh my god, what a boot from Nikita Ragehart to uh, Ashley Mormon. You missed the stream crash a couple times, bam. <laughs> Ali, number seven from Adrenaline. Nine tails in trouble. Nine tails in trouble. Jessica Storm. Nine tails fights out. Amaya number eight. Amaya going straight for Jessica Storm, which is actually pretty good storytelling. It, oh my god. Well, happy Friday, bam. Today's my friggin' Wednesday. Stupid jerk Wednesday. Washi well, Mormon in trouble. Jessica saving Ashley Mormon. Inadvertently, I'm sure. Number nine, the former women's champion, Sophia Bomber. Uh, Maya Lee in trouble. Maya Lee in trouble. It, Lee hanging on. Still, uh, well, caught out now. Only one elimination so far. We are going to need an elimination for number 10 to come out. The 
Ring is full of competitors. Jessica in trouble. Oh, look at this. Amaya eliminates Jessica Storm. Jessica, of course, started off this rumble at number one. This high cross power bomb to Nine Tails. Oh my god, she's doing it again. Oh, Maya Lee hanging on. Oh my god, she fought out of that. Big boot to Sophia Bomber. We'll be facing Dreamcatcher at Survivor Series. Look at this. Hammerlock side rush and leg sweep on Rageheart. Number 10, Mason Suzuki. The last minute entrant for this rumble. Up nine tails in trouble. It, oh my God! Nine tails fights back into this. Yep. Well, Ivy's been eliminated by Ashley Mormon. Ashley with two eliminations. Now look at this. And burning hammer. Oh, my league in danger zone again. And Maya Lee eliminated by Amaya. That's two eliminations for Amaya as well. One of these six women going to get a huge opportunity for Survivor Series. And Nikita Rageheart in trouble. Nikita back in. You made risotto. Oh, yeah? Oh, big drop kick there. And, oh my god, out goes Bomber. That low bridge from Nikita Rageheart. Bomber just staring at Rageheart. Let her back in. Rajard's been dropping everyone with that damn big boot. Again. Nice counter there from Mason. Mason with a huge opportunity entering number 10 in this. Two competitors left from Adrenaline, three from Ignition. Ashley Mormon, oh my god, with her third elimination, Ashley Mormon has eliminated Amaya. Now we got two from Adrenaline, two from Ignition.
Power slam on Mormon. Got French suplex on Mason Suzuki. Down to the final four here. Oh my god. That was uh, an interesting time to hit that. Like perfect timing on that taunt. What are you guys' predictions for who's left? Uh oh, Ashley Mormon in trouble. Ashley Mormon. Well, Ashley Mormon still hanging on. Not completely out of danger zone yet, though. Oh my God, she's been eliminated. She has been eliminated by Nikita Rajar. That is two eliminations for Nikita Rajar. That was a great performance by Ashley Mormon, though. Oh, my God. That's knee lifts to Mason. What number did Rage Heart and... Um, Nine tails come out as you guys remember. Mason and Nine Tails. I don't think either of them have had uh, an elimination yet. Are we about to see it? Well, that was interesting. Nine Tails was six. Okay. I did think Ray Tart was three. I couldn't quite remember. We've just had so many matches today. I can't keep track of them all. Rowan Ninetales. I am glad I set this up live so people can't like at all think I didn't I I, I set up you know Cherry and Jessica being one and two. Not that anyone really thinks I would do that, but it is weird that like in Rumbles Brett gets one a lot. He said he gets number one in elimination chambers a lot, but I'm pretty sure I've got it a lot more than well, not a lot more. A bit more than I'm in elimination chambers. It's weird how it happens, though. I swear the game does pick it. I mean, decide. Oh, my God. Well, Mason eliminated by both. Oh, my God. Mason looked look like she was eliminated by both uh, Ninetales and Rageheart. I'm actually not sure who actually got the elimination there. They both knocked her off the apron. Yeah, she's tapping the of course no submission here. And finds a counter. I did not say those words. I said I set it up live. You didn't even put the word live in there. Ragehart could be in trouble here. Nikita Ragehart's in trouble. And Nikita Ragehart's been eliminated. Nine Tails is going to be getting a world title shot at Survivor Series.
Congrats to Ninetales. Alrighty. So we are going to be skipping a lot of these matches now. I wish I wish there was a way I could prove I'm not just hitting X on the top name, but I can't. All Big Cheese, well, I already uh, off to a weird start. Mainly because I just don't... I, I don't really want the top name to win because... Well, shit. <laughs> Lindsay. God, three for three for the top name. Okay, Maverick. <laughs> so, Maverick's in the face, Tyler Abbott. To face Brett Storm. Razor Blade advancing the little mini tag tournament. Okay, who is queuing up to face Cherry Blast for the Impact Championship? It should be set properly now. It should be. Uh, I, I, I am rejecting uh, the, the challenge thing from Slim right now, too. Uh, so Brett, Slim, just, he's, um, of just those two, I'm gonna queue up for that too. Okay. Oh, my, my's on adrenaline. Okay. So, Slim, Brett, and me are going to roll. Whoever gets the highest. So, go ahead and roll, uh, you two. Uh, Slim got a 560. Brett, you want to roll? Six fifty five. Why are you challenging your partner anyway? Seven seventy eight, nice. I use the secret roll though. Midori was actually a ch uh, she actually lost the championship a week ago too. Is she hurt? Looks like she's hurt. Did you beat Maverick? For what, Crow? Alrighty. Damn it, I should have gave Cherry your managers. Sorry, Cherry. Uh, no, Mr. World, they're gone. Alrighty, Impact Championship on the line. Midori versus Cherry. Here we go. 
She is ready. Introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, Matt Gurley. And introducing the champion from the pits of hell, she is the Impact Women's Champion, D. The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition. What's up, Young Hoops? Glad, uh, glad you liked those videos, buddy. Welcome in. That's a really rare Pokemon that is spawned, by the way, guys. Very rare. Yeah, welcome in, Young Hoops. Always cool to... An old fan. Uh, apparently, we're not doing winner takes all for this, by the way. So, they're gonna have a, a match at skip next week. Amidori, power bomb on Cherry. They, these two did have a, a knockdown drag out on Warzone a while back, but Cherry did get the win that night. Midori hit like three Swanton bombs and this could not put Cherry away, which. It was a show uh, Midori would have to hit Cherry with something really big to actually get that Impact Championship back tonight. Cherry's not really countering much right now, though. There you go. Oh, big back suplex. Cherry did compete earlier tonight in that Women's Rumble. Start off at number two. The clothesline there. Oh, there you go. Sidestepping the moonsault. Ah, Bimu Chan got that legendary Pokemon. It's a very rare Pokemon that she got just now. I think it's like a legendary she got. Oh, very cool, Young Hoops. Well, uh, glad you found me on Twitch. <laughs> 
Well, Midori. Over that top rope. Very effective. Oh my god. Right to the gut. <laughs> now the uh Jessica just qualified for team ignition, Brett. Back. Although, um, I kind of think Cherry's going to win anyway. Oh. The ALT. Let's go, AO. Well, she's winning for the finisher. Midori sidestepped it. I'm not sure if that was a counter or just a dodge, but a big drop kick to the face. Well, Midori with a submission. That's not even a thing. The Anaconda Vice on the champion. I don't think Midori has ever won, a, won via submission. Oh, nice dodge there. Oh, big shot to the face to the challenger. Now tuning up the band. Midori in trouble. Midori in trouble. And oh my god, huge counter. Midori ducks. Well, that's a huge turnaround right there, but let's drop the champion. But Cherry still kicks up. That was a, a huge, huge counter for the, uh, the challenger. Midori from the top rope now. And the Swanton Bomb, but she was trying to do it while Cherry was getting up. That's going to cost her. That big backbreaker. And Midori still kicks up. That was the weirdest attempt at a swanton uh, apparently we have to reset that <laughs> oh wait oh brett just reset it my bad we had uh, four crowns the other day apparently on fall guys i was super out of it that stream look at this frankensteiner Oh, nice counter there. Did she just go for the ALT again? Uh -oh, this is Ch -ch -ch Cherry bomb. Power bomb from Adori. Well, that do it. A lot of damage has been done. The ref took a weird, a weird route to count uh, to look at the shoulders being down. I'm, I'm not sure that was efficient there, ref. But Cherry trying to get back to her feet. And... Like this. Pump handle Gord Buster. He's planting the challenger. It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every and move that basement drop kick to the side of the head. Why are you getting ads? You getting ads midstream? Are you guys still getting ads midstream? You shouldn't be. Or did he just reload the stream again? Well, that moonsault, that could do it right there. It, they should have been completely removed. Other than when you first load the stream. Cherry, setting up Midori. And, oh my god, the eclipse. The eclipse on the challenger. She's went for the finisher. Midori sidestepped it again. Look at this. The Insomniac's Dream on Cherry. The Insomniac's Dream connects, pulling her away from the ropes. That should do it. Oh my god, Cherry kicked up. Cherry kicking up out of the Insomniac's Dream. All right, big drop kick. She's going for it again. She was. Cherry with a counter this time. Countering the Insomniac's Dream. That backbreaker again. Cherry tuning up the band again. Oh, 
It, this time it hits. That'll do. Leg is hooked. One, two, chip. Oh, my God. Midori kicking up. Look at this dragon suplex. I kind of wish she went for the cover off that. She went for the finisher again. Midori just rolled away. Look at this. Double under power bomb. And tuning up the band again. If this hits, it's over. And super kick. Connects again. Leg is hooked. She can't reach the rope, I don't think. One, two, Cherry retains. Oh, that was a pretty good match. It still wasn't as good as their first one, though, but. All right, moving to Adrenaline. No new news. Hope uh, Bam and Crow's rivalry didn't break. <laughs> Damn, some of these are great, great matches too, but we're going to have to skip a lot of them, of course. Okay. If it did if it did break bam, I'll have to just remake it. Actually he's in ninety five now? It wouldn't surprise me if some power rankings got switched since Nine Tails won that Rumble and stuff. Um, you haven't ha had a match yet, Bam. <clears throat> well, we are skipping a lot of matches, though, Bam. I'm not sure we're going to have one that uh, we watch of yours, by the way. Not this stream. Maybe, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, um, Jordan Grace. Well, 
Well, I do need to pull Nine Tails from her match with Sophia Bomber. So actually, I need to put a different woman, woman in that. Um, shoot. I don't have my paper on me either. Did I put Persephone in one? You already have a match, Mr. World. Don't you? Yeah, you do. Um, the actual options were Brianna Shannon or Gothopotamus, which actually Brianna Shannon would be first. Yeah, look at look at Discord, Mr. World. You have access to see it, buddy. Okay. It's too many asses. I'll do Brianna Shannon for this. Which actually we, means we do need to pretty much figure out who... Um, new people to potentially face Ashley Mannix would be. Um, we'll see who does not qualify for... You know, actually it shouldn't, it shouldn't, that shouldn't be affected. I'll, uh, I'll figure out who's going to be facing Ashley Mannix. Sounds like a cool match, too. Uh, mainly just uh, the titles, mainly just because we are um, we're doing a a quick run through of um, things that normally would have taken several hours. Just let my community know. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna actually make that the main event. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's going to have to be the main event.
Um. Oh, I passed them. Actually, I can't change that one, so I'm going to have to ch take this one off for now. What am I doing? Oh, I did make this a, a 10 minute Iron Man match, right? For the roulette title? I think I did. That was the, what I initially announced for the roulette title. We'd have 10 minute Iron Man matches. Yeah, we'll just do a 10 minute Iron Man match. Because I didn't want 15 minute Ironman matches like spam the roulette championship. We should get a fall or two before that 10 minute timer is up, so. <clears throat> if it was a pay per view or something, I'd, I'd make it a 15. Okay, so we're actually only watching one match this night. We're going to watch, I think, like all the matches on Warzone, though. Actually, I should have made that for the the one FC for Payne and Thomas. That's fine. I I didn't announce it before the match, so it's not that's not what's gonna be. Okay, so beautifully powerful win. Okay, Balmer. You money. My Lee. Josh Evans defeats Martin Lee. All righty. Roulette championship on the line. Ten minute Iron Man match. So uh, Ray Dunleavy is officially spending his 5 FC to challenge TJ Ward for the Roulette Championship. And uh, yeah, we did this see Fia Balmer and Maya Lee qualify for Team Adrenaline for the women's team. And then Q Money uh, disqualified for the men's team. All righty, place your bets.
gentlemen, as a reminder, the championship is on the line here tonight. And in looking at the opposition, I can say the champion will have quite the hill to climb in this one. TJ Ward on one of the biggest roles of his uh, career right now with the Roulette Championship, winning the Elimination Chamber at Ground, uh, Crown Jewel, having an opportunity, a one on one opportunity for the FTU World Championship. He's competing here on Adrenaline, but he's been drafted to Ignition. Excuse me, that sneeze. Um, has been drafted to uh, Ignition. The Roulette Championship is, of course, exclusive to the Adrenaline brand, so he will be still defending here. Ray Dunleavy, already one half of the Undisputed Tag Team Champions. He will be defending those titles with Jesse Hardake on Warzone this week. But Ray, for the first time in his career, looking to have two championships at the same time. Got 10 minutes on the clock. 
Up, small package, shoulders down here. And he doesn't stay down for long. Yeah, I do hope to um cover to be effective, but he is making a statement by going for I do hope to get two survivor series this stream, but climbing to the top rope. We'll see how it goes. I do have work today, so I just gotta go shave and stuff before work too. Oh, big drop kick. Missile drop kick to the challenger. DJ Ward is does have a big champion's advantage in this match because he um he does not need to actually successfully pin or submit the challenger. He just needs to last 10 minutes without getting pinned or submitting himself. Of course, uh, disqualifications and countouts do count as legal falls in this match, so you technically can win a championship via those methods. Ray Dunleavy looks knee lift to the face of the champion. Nice counter. Ray bringing the fight here. Look at this Dragon Sleeper. It's actually the move that TJ Ward won the roulette championship with. Ray fighting out. Big right hand. Big drop kick like the back of the head, it looked like. Kind of missed that for a second. Oh, yeah, that was a nice combination from DJ Ward. Expected that one. Ooh. How's that for a count? Look at this. Well, he was going for a Falcon Arrow, but Dunleavy with the counter. At Survivor Series, I am going to try to figure out uh, actual challenges for championships a bit more if I can. To make sure uh, we don't have to deal with championship scrambles after pay-per-views and we can just go pay-per-view to pay-per-view, especially on the uh, speed run to WrestleMania. Yeah, we'd still be on ignition right now if uh, we weren't doing a speed run. Probably be like halfway through. <laughs> Well, he was going for that surfboard curb stomp, I think, but that was interesting. I'm aware of that, Brett. Mm. I've uh, I've had championship scrambles on my YouTube channel. Stepping through, could be looking for a submission. No, establishing position. Oh. You're able to play those online. That surfboard curb stomp on Ray Dunleavy. Will that be the first fall? Well, almost halfway through this match, um, I don't want it to be 0-0. Zero zero. I will feel bad for making only a 10-minute, but... Well, twist of fate to Ray Dunleavy. That should be a fall right there. He got him. We do have a fall on the board. 1-0. to zero. Staying on the challenger. Yeah, I mean, I think the match type was kind of named that just to, because the, you know, that is kind of like a phrase that can be used otherwise. But. Well, Ray Dunleavy's been busted open from that knee. What's up, Trivell? How's it going, buddy? Well, going for another cover here. That's two to zero. TJ Ward's a beast right now, man. Gonna be facing Bam at Survivor Series for the FTU World Championship and an opportunity to uh, claim not one but two world titles that night because it's gonna be our Gold Rush tournament. What's up, virtual cheese? Hi, Diddly Ho, neighborino. 
New job, oh yeah? How you liking it, Trivell? Running my show is show two is hard. Yeah, it could definitely be hard to kind of try to mix those. Well, submission hold on Ward. This is a legal submission. Will he tap? Don't you like it? Oh, I'll start to hear that, Trivell. Does it at least pay okay or not? Yep, man. Ward dumped to the outside. Oh, I'm glad it pays well at least. Can definitely um, help, you know. Across the shoulder, knee right to the rough it out, but. Well, Dunleavy of shots. Oh my god, now the champion's been busted open. Well, that was an awesome series of blocks and counters from Ward, but look at this, this back and forth. Uh, I'm not sure yet, Kraft. I'm not sure if you'll have one that we actually watch. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the rest count, Cole. Heads outside, but this one has to I hope you uh, find something you enjoy more, Trivell. It does uh, suck to have a, a job that you just dread going into, man. I've definitely been there. Had a job doing construction work for three years. And every single day, I was like, oh my god, I do want to do this. Uh, we have Eddie. Eddie Carlito. Oh my god, look at this. Omega Driver to Ray Dunleavy. That should do it. That's going to be three to zero. And Ray Dunleavy kicks up. Well, he, Ward shouldn't be too frustrated there. He's still ahead two falls. Over that surfboard curb stomp. Looking for the twist of fate again. That should be the third fall. Three to zero on Ray Dunleavy. Oh my god, ran straight into that. TJ Ward is going beast mode, man. Yeah, I don't think we needed a full 15 minute for this. And another twist of fate. Four to zero. It's crazy, dude. Actually, right now, uh, Ray Dunleavy has higher stats than Ward, too, I believe. I think... Ray Dunleavy's at an 87 and Ward's at an 85, I think. This is a very dangerous situation now. Ooh, oh, knee right through the stomach. Well, the counter there. There's only 18 seconds left on the clock, though. Well, sending TJ Ward in that post, but this match is over, folks. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. TJ Ward retains.
So uh, the Roulette Championship will not be on the line at Survivor Series because um, TJ Ward already, will already be booked. And Cluck defeats Madcap. All righty, next show, Warzone. We're going to be watching a few matches on this card here. I do need to make a rivalry for Dreamcatcher and Ninetales. Okay, who's queuing up for the Women's uh, Hardcore Championship? So far, it's just uh, Slim. Room for two more people. To face Cherry for the Hardcore Championship. <clears throat> All these matches can be changed, of course. We will get to a point where actually I'm not changing any matches. <laughs> I'm just going to let them go. <laughs> Jessica and Miley, huh? I'll go and uh, close it at that. Jessica, Miley, and Amaya. Alrighty. Probably me skipping some entrances too. Um Okay. Um, actually, I think I'm going to make that a tornado tag.
Come on. I hit up. It didn't work. Okay. <clears throat> uh, these last two matches are going to be changed, although they both look pretty cool. Um, actually, Crow is supposed to face Flashbang anyway. Eh, I'll, I'm still changing it. I'll have them face on Ignition. Actually, uh, yeah. Not that we're gonna be watching it anyway, actually, but <laughs> um, we we actually are skipping that match. It's heads up, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm not trying to get people's hopes up, but yeah, this is a speed run that we're doing. Alrighty, um, I'm going to leave entrances on though, because actually I need to go get some water and stuff for this one. Is a virtual cheese still in here? Yeah, virtual cheese is still in here. Alrighty, well, place your bets. Yeah, we're going to watch that Mavericks match though. Alrighty, Women's Hardcore Championship on the line. Best of luck. Place your bets, folks.
titles on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, folks. Tonight, Mike's just here tonight to try to change hands. Right, he's still got a couple minutes left to bet. Place your bets, folks. Again, um, for people, I'm hoping people aren't going to be too bummed that we're skipping matches because we uh, got people hyped about like that King Eddie match. That match is going to be skipped. We got we have uh, a lot of matches to go through. Cherry and Jessica going right for each other. <clears throat> yeah, we want to have Survivor Series um, next week, so next weekend. Or, I mean, I guess it might be Monday morning. I might try to have it. Survivor Series is going to be a long pay-per-view. Maybe I should try to have that on Saturday or something. But people did it. People were able to stay up pretty late past couple streams on Saturday. I don't know, though. Oh, oh my god, Storm uh, went for that blockbuster, didn't get it. I am still trying to get some Fall Guys into a lot, so. But I think we do need to get to like a pay-per-view a week. I have to figure out how to do that, so. Oh my god, what a kick to the face of the champion. Cherry Blast has three championships for championships right now defending uh, the second one this week which um, she's actually going to be defending her other the tag titles skip entrances well I mean I had to step away anyway man because that's kind of why we're watching those entrances I mean so we, we either could watch the entrances or we could just you know sit and watch nothing for a minute <laughs> but 
um, oh, kendo stick. Yeah, I had to get some water and use the bathroom and stuff, so. Might as well watch entrances, right? Oh, look at this. A double team for the tag champs gets countered from My Lee. Oh my god, he just broke that kendo stick up aside, on the side of the head of Miley. Spine buster! Look at this, oh my god, it's time, it's time! Tap or gag! Drop and storm hard, shoulders down here. Oh my god, Maya Lee has pinned Jessica Storm. It shoulders down on Maya. Well, Maya in trouble here. Oh my god, Maya may have just been put away, but Maya Lee with that bat. Oh my god, that DDT on the bat too. Does that? I think that actually takes uh, Cherry's finisher too, doesn't it? It's legal submission there. I don't think much damage has been done to Amaya's arms, though. Cherry could use this opportunity to get another kendo stick. Oh my God! Jesus! This tattooing both the remaining challengers with that kendo stick. She, did she, she just flip off the referee. DDT on the kendo stick. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Yeah, we'll have to uh, talk a bit about Survivor Series matches on Discord after the stream. I'll uh, be going over. Oh my god. On the sledgehammer. Oh my god. I'll be going over uh, people's prestige and making sure they get matches first, though, but oh Frankenstein on Amaya. Oh, well, went for a super kick. Get caught, though. My, oh, my God. Just broke the kendo stick across the back. That looked awesome. Al kind of just left her on the guardrail because she, you know, just clutching her back almost like her... Combination of strikes to Mai Lee. Into the barricade. That could break an arm. The challenger not looking good right now. Maya bringing that sledgehammer into the ring. Next week it will be Kang's turn to defend the men's hardcore championship. So people can actually queue up for that right now if you want. People that queue up for the Hardcore Championship now will be able to... Uh, so people that haven't had a match that we're actually going to watch, that's actually not a bad idea to queue up for that. Um, we might random, though, if uh, more than three people queue up for that. Because actually, I might as well, since uh, I'm, I'm probably not otherwise going to have a match. The ref was, like, kicking that bat around for some reason. But I do imagine we're going to have over three, so we're probably going to have to random. So make sure you stay in stream. Oh, look at this. One first suplex of Maya counters. Oh my god! That was an amazing dodge to that sledgehammer. Look at this, though. The rose plant on Amaya. That should do it. Oh, my God. She kicked up. Let that leg sweep. Miley going for that submission. Amaya's going to have to tap here. 
And she does. Maya has been eliminated. Maya Lee with two eliminations, right? Interesting strategy. Well, will that do it? And Cherry kicks up. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Brett. The ref was counting from, from distance, apparently. Miley telling the champion to get back in the ring, but this is false count anywhere. Hanging her up on the guardrail. Well, Cherry's in trouble. Miley is rolling right now. She's getting something from Oh, she's going to be taking too much time. That's Ledgehammer. Oh, my God. That's Ledgehammer to the gut. Look at this, Frankensteiner. Oh my god, that bat across the forehead. Jerry hit the front drop kick. Like landed on that bat though. Oh my god, looking to put Miley away here. Cherry blast. That roundhouse kick to the face. Leg is hooked. No row break here. Oh my god, she kicked up. Man, if Cherry defends all three titles in one week, that's going to be pretty boss. Well, Lion Salt, another quick cover. Oh my god, now a bat. Jesus. Well, just ran straight into that. Oh my god. At Frankensteiner. What's up, Jeff Storm? A crossbody from my Lee. Look at this, a pump handle gourd buster. And now the ALT. That should do it. Those suplexes, all this other damage that been done. Oh my god. Like including that the weapon shots to the lower back of Maya Lee, but well set her up for the blaster here. Game over. That roundhouse to the face again to Maya Lee. Maya Lee had two eliminations, but this is over. Cherry retains again.
Alrighty, um, actually, I think we do have to skip a couple of these other matches that I didn't really want to, but, um, I think we mainly just need to have championship matches this stream, guys. So, actually, I, I wanted to watch both of these two. I mean, I wanted to watch a lot more of these, but, um, yeah, because I, I kind of have to take off in, like, an hour. So, uh, I did start the stream a bit later, but I want to get to Survivor Series today still. Uh, so we are going to skip this one, unfortunately. The winner of this match is going to be facing Brett Storm, though, for the Intercontinental Championship uh, late, later tonight. So, so uh, best of luck to both of you here. And it's Tyler Abbott. Tyler Abbott versus Brett Storm. And then the, uh, the winner of this match is going to be facing the Women's Tag Team Champions later tonight. So best of luck to both teams here. And it's, damn, I hate that it's always the top people that, it, when I skip it, but Razor Blade versus the Women's Tag Team Champions tonight. Um, actually, damn, I was supposed to have this other match, too. Shoot. I was supposed to have the men's tag titles on the line. Um, I think we're going to have to put that match off for a minute. Uh, so, actually, these three matches are all for one FC, by the way. I don't know if... Uh, we can get those updated, or I'll have to update them later. But uh, all three of these are worth one FC that I'm about to skip. So Slender is owed one FC. Slender has all the FC in the world. <laughs> Slender, one FC for Slender. One FC for Dreamcatcher. And one FC for Kang. So Slender, Dreamcatcher, and Kang. Thank you, Bimuchan. Uh, we're going to do a tornado tag for this, too. Um, kind of have to keep the ball rolling. Um, We probably shouldn't be doing regular tag matches anymore anyway. We keep having, like, really just stupid endings to tag matches just because the, the partner just didn't want to break the t pin up, so... <clears throat> Surprise Cherry's only an 85. What the hell? She must be injured, actually. She has to be, right? Partner slid into the ring. It's probably just El Chino. <laughs> All righty, Intercontinental Championship on the line. Brett accidentally predicted who was going to win this one. 
I mean, uh, who won the uh, number one contender spot? Place your bets, folks. We've had uh, two championship matches so far. Both times the champion retained, though. Uh, you kind of predicted who was going to be facing you, Brett. <laughs>
people uh, After winning this title, the champion seems helping support the channel. And uh, both those guys have done that a lot. So appreciate you guys a lot. <clears throat> oh, Tyler Abbott starting off very strong here. Got that boot right in the beard. The weak spot of Brett Storm. The Blood Hunters have been starting to collect championships here. Mainly Cherry Blast. <laughs> This is the biggest opportunity of Tyler Abbott's career so far. Getting a one-on-one -on -one shot for the Intercontinental Championship. Well, the, uh, the spot where most men's power lies is also their weak spot. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Well, hang him up on the top rope. And look at that. Nice moonsault. Oh, my God. Well, he didn't get all that moonsault. Brett Storm, he's won more Intercontinental titles than anyone in FTU history. Nice counter there. Oh my god, what a kick. What are we gonna see here? That kick to the side of the head of Tyler Abbott. That was pretty filthy. That was actually a nice sequence there. I like that. Oh god, that hurt. This is an incessant attack being brought to him. Yeah, it's a plop. And look at this now. Yes, the Look at this. Stump puller. I think Brett's actually made someone tap with this move, too. He's got it locked in. It's locked in. Now would be a wise time to submit. Able to free himself from the agonizing submission. Whatever's playing here can't be good. It's Snake Eyes. Storm going up. And the stormy ascent connects. Will that do it? Brett Storm retains just like that. Alrighty. People having trouble with the stream?
All righty, main event of Warzone, the Women's Tag Team Championships. Razor Blade, the number one contenders. Place your bets, folks. Cherry and Jessica defended these titles before, right? Or no? Is this their first? They've defended before, surely, right? Yeah, they defended against the Maya Dreamcatcher. Never mind. Yeah, my bad. <clears throat> Alrighty. Uh, Brett, by the way, um, do you want to defend the Intercontinental Championship? If uh, Actually, uh, you're not on Team Ignition, so do you want to defend the Intercontinental Championship at Survivor Series? Um, if no one spends FC, I could have a number one contender match if you'd like to defend it. Otherwise, we'll have you defend it afterwards. But anyway, place your bets. Women's tag titles on the line.
think that winning these tag titles was a turning point for these superstars. Oh, absolutely. And tonight is another turning point, Michael. They either keep the titles or we have new champions. Either way, it'll be hot news on WWE.com. Well, here we go. Um, I do know Violet Ray has been injured lately. She's been um, able to at least hold her own here because they've defeated uh, beautifully powerful, beautifully powerful earlier tonight, as well as uh, Midori and Taryn Burnstorm on Ignition. So they're still holding their own. Cherry defending her third championship in one week, though. Small package, shoulders down here. But that was actually pretty close. Um, actually, Brett may have said something about the Intercontinental Championship on the left, though, but I, actually, uh, Saucy is trying to spend FC for that, right? He may have already said that. I haven't caught up on comments. Look at the leg here. What's up, Monk? How's it going, buddy? That gory bomb there. Look at this arm breaker. <clears throat> just chilling. Cheese did qualify for Team Ignition, by the way. So you're going to be uh, in a four on four at Survivor Series, and hopefully you can help Ignition get the dub. Look at Chariot, split like a moonsault. Legs hooked. Oh my god, that was close. Well, looking for the blaster on Violet Ray. That was a nice camera angle. Well, that blockbuster. And I care. I, I think tornado tags are the way to go. Because I think it's possible she wouldn't have tried to break that up. Oh, my God. That roundhouse to the face to Storm. I think tornado tags are the way to go for the tag titles for the rest of 2K22. <laughs> Except for the... Oh my god, how close was that? I was about to say, except for the, uh, the intergender tour tournament we're going to have, but Moonsault on Cherry. That super kick. Up in the leg here, we might have new champs. Jessica needs to turn her focus. Oh my god, she kicked up, I think. I don't think she broke it up, I think she kicked up. It, moonsault. That dragon suplex. Her feet were on the ropes, though. Wow, that was interesting. Both women going for big kicks there. Well, both uh, tag champs dumped to the outside by the challengers. That's actually pretty awesome that <laughs> they both decided to throw the champs to the outside. Well, now you uh, can just pretty much watch... Jessica versus Sakura, since the other two are hiding behind my camera. Oh my god, that gourd buster on the floor. There was no padding there. Well, did Violet... Oh my god! Well, that looked pretty awesome, but... Oh my god, look at that! Uh, that's kind of unfortunate we couldn't make a clip out of that, because both the tag champs just did high-risk moves and actually connected. Violet back up. Up. Oh, she shouldn't have taunted there. She shouldn't have taunted there at all. Cherry. Look at the ALT. The ALT to Violet Ray. That should do it right there, really. Akira should actually be getting in there right now. Akira. Well, that's it. The champs retain. Violet Ray was injured, but that was still a great tag match.
All right. Well, congrats, Cherry, defending three championships in the same week. Alrighty, um, so moving right along here, uh, we do have uh, a lot more matches. We only went through one week, and actually I, I have like less than an hour left, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I mean, I don't think we can get to Survivor Series today. I want to. Okay. Um, actually, I needed to make a rivalry real quick, or two. So wait, should I make Saucy versus Brett then? Because yeah, uh, Saucy did tell me in the uh, personal message, direct message, that he he did want to wait to have that thing with Kang till after Survivor Series. Uh, yeah, Mr. World. <clears throat> Watch it fucking crash again. I would lose it. <laughs> um, canceling that rivalry. What's up, K back? Mm. Okay. Oh, that makes up, make bread a feud. <clears throat> I'll leave that other one. Or skip the matches anyway. I'll make it medium. <clears throat> Alrighty. A lot of these matches are going to be changed. We need to figure out who's going to face Django. Okay, so, so far, just Big Cheese is on the men's team. I'll make this one uh, Flashbang versus Crow. <clears throat> so what matches do we have to watch still? We got to watch, I think we got to watch four matches still, so we might be able to do it. Yeah, Flashman's at 86 now. Actually, I think I think he was at 86 at Crown Jewel, actually. Okay. Um, Lee versus Krath. Slim versus Django. Trying to remember managers more. 
Not that it matters too much, actually. Usually, people that have managers, if I forget them, usually they'll win their match if I forget to give them their manager. <clears throat> so, I'll make sure I give Slim his. I mean, I'm, I just keep mine. I, I, it's probably not an actual thing, but... Bam versus Kraft is the main event. Um, yeah, we're going to have Kraft do double duty tonight, I guess. <clears throat> um, yeah, just to hurry it along, I think actually we're going to have to have a couple people do double duty. Not that we're watching them anyway. Uh, we'll have uh, Saucy do double duty here tonight. And... Um, <clears throat> so this one is a rivalry match, but we're going to go ahead and say this is a Survivor Series qualifying match, too. Damn, this is a mess. Damn, she went up from an 85 to a 92 in a week. She she must have been injured last week. She had to have been. <laughs> <laughs> 